Hello students, in this video we will learn how to plot root 3 on the number line. In the previous video we have learned how to plot root 2 on the number line. So root 3, for to plot root 3 we need to first plot root 2. And I will I'll show you why. Okay, We will draw a right angle triangle. Okay, Let's say we have a right angle triangle over here. where this is 1 and this is root 2 okay then this side we will get as root 3 that means the hypotenuse will become root 3 so let's take this as O A and B and using Pythagoras theorem let's find out how we get root 3 so with the help of a Pythagoras theorem we are able to find out what is the length of the hypotenuse so we, once again the square of the longest side is equal to the sum of the squares of the adjacent sides so 0 OA square plus AB square OA is given as 1 whole square and root and AB is given as root 2 so root 2 whole square 1 square becomes 1 and square root of um, square of square root gives us 2 so that will give us 3 here we will write as OB square now OB is plus or minus square root of 3 we discard negative 3 because length cannot be negative in case of a triangle so that is how we get OB as positive root 3 so that is the reason why we need to first plot root 2 in order to locate or plot root 3 on the lumber line so let's begin first by plotting root 2 which we have done in the previous video we will do it once again same thing we draw a line first, we draw it over here ok and we mark them ok this time last time we took one inch hmm? Both. this time we will take centimeters ok Let, let's take centimeters this time and instead of taking 1 centimeter we will take 2 2 centimeters as one unit 2 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay. here so this is to just ensure that uh, we can uh, plot our uh, I mean we can uh, construct the our uh, diagram a bit better it will be a bit more spacious so you have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so let's take uh, this as 0 1 2 3 4 so I am taking this as 1 unit okay this is actually 2 centimeters that I have taken but I have taken that as 1 unit so this will be minus 1 minus 2 and minus 3 same procedure once again what we do is we take since we have taken 2 centimeters is equal to 1 unit in this case once again I will take the same as 1 unit and what I will do is um, we need to draw a perpendicular to 1 as you know in order to construct uh, construct the root 2 so let us construct the perpendicular first from root uh, from point 1 so once again I keep the pointer at 1 and 
I construct the semicircle. Remember when I am constructing semicircle, I am not taking the entire length. This length is slightly shorter than one unit. Okay. So that the arc that is formed is formed before two. Here. Can you see? Okay. Now using the same length, I use this point over here. as my new center I keep the pointer over there with the same length throughout the construction we do not change the measurement only when required at certain points okay? and especially in, with respect to drawing uh, or constructing a perpendicular we do not change the measurement so once again I take the same measurement and cut this semicircle and draw an arc and where the arc cuts the semicircle, I mark it with a point. With the same measurement, I place the pointer on that point where the arc intersects the semicircle. And I draw a bigger arc this time. Okay. Here you go. Now, where this arc meets the semicircle or intersects the semicircle the bigger arc I mark that point and using the same measurement I cut this bigger arc now where the two arc intersects I mark the point and I join that point from that point onwards to this one okay and I mark that as and that is our perpendicular so you can mark this as perpendicular over here so we get 90 degrees our next step as you know is to cut one unit length on the perpendicular from 1 so we can measure it from here if you like okay keep the point a pointer over here that is at 1 and cut the perpendicular here hmm? mark this point and from that point join the this point to zero so we join these two points this gives us root 2 the measurement of this is root 2 our next step now we have got this root 2 hmm? what we need to do next is use this as our new line and construct a perpendicular to this line so same step once again okay so what I do is I use the measurement Okay, keep the point over here and I draw a big arc okay now that I have drawn the arc what I do is here where this semicircle okay okay now you see this point over here our semicircle has cut this line root 2 line over here so mark this as your point and using the same measurement which was used to draw this and big semicircle cut the semicircle over here wherever the arc uh, cuts the semicircle mark the point 
remember we are drawing a perpendicular now to this line that is let us mark this as O A and B so we are drawing a perpendicular to O B and use the same length we keep the pointer over here and we cut we draw a bigger line I mean we draw a bigger arc okay such that it cuts the semicircle at another point and we mark that point again using the same measurement we keep the pointer at this point and we cut this big arc now we've got a new point over here what we need to do is construct a line from this point to B okay and that's how we get a perpendicular of OB okay this is a perpendicular of O B okay now that we have already constructed the perpendicular our next target okay see remember we have got root 2 over here this is root 2 follow this triangle this is root 2 hmm? now we need to construct 1 got it so if we need to construct 1 that means we need to take the measure, measurement of 1 unit same as this okay so we've already got measurement of 1 unit so what we do is we keep the pointer over here at B and we cut one unit so so it is the same as the semicircle okay so no need to do anything we'll just mark this this is our one unit from here to here is one unit now what we need to do is this point that we have got okay this point that we have got we need to join this point to this point to get a triangle so we construct a line here yeah so now we have got a new triangle hmm? let's take this as a dash hmm? now this that we get according to this if this is if this line is root 2 and this is 1 that means this should be root 3 right according to the Pythagoras theorem and if this is root 3 all we need to do is take the measurement from here all the way till here let me have, show you okay from here all the way till here have a look Hmm? because this is root 3 can you see have a look from here to here is root 3 and all we need to do is draw a circle not a full circle but good enough to cut the number line okay so we need to cut the number line here and it cuts over here so that's where we get our root 3 on the number line understood so it's very easy if you know to draw root 2 you can easily locate root 3 the only difference here is we need to plot another perpendicular uh, over here as we have done over here and then we need to cut another line cut that same perpendicular line by one unit and join the new point we get with our original point over here and this length is root 3 
as per Pythagoras theorem and we need to take measurement of this take this as a point and construct a circle not an entire circle good enough to just cut the number line and wherever it cuts the number line this becomes our root 3 because just like root 2 this entire thing till here becomes the new radius okay just like how we use this as a radius to draw the circle this is another radius and radii of the circle are the same as we know so if this is root 3 and we have drawn a circle using this length as root 3 and cut the line over here with the same measurement that means this also should be root 3 and that's how we get root 3 or locate root 3 on the lumber line remember okay another thing to remember root 3 should always come before 2 if it comes beyond 2 that means something is wrong because remember one thing square root of 4 is 2 that means you have got a number which is greater than 4 or 4 square root 3 is always less than 2 okay so remember it also always has to come before 2 and even with square root of 2 always has to come before 2 and closer to 1 here it looks a little bit big compared to what you would be drawing in the classroom because I have taken 2 centimeters equal to 1 unit so in this the length that is taken on the number line is 2 centimeter equal to 1 unit that is just to make it easier okay nothing more I hope you have understood how to locate the root 3 on the number line and found this video helpful thank you for watching